Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part three video on .NET 7 Razor page CRUD example with one to many relationship table structure using EF core. Previously we have implemented read operation, right? Now we are going to implement the create operation. Okay, so using this create operation with single create, we can add a new records parallelly into employee table as well as employee addresses table okay so first let's create new pages for our create form okay in the employee folder let me create new razor page like first let me create the model okay employee create dot cs html dot cs okay here is our employee create model so as a first step, let's add the on get async. Okay, so let me add the on get async method. Okay, so in this method, there is nothing we have to add as a logic because just we want to display the uh, form, create form. Okay, so I can simply return page method. Okay. Now, okay, now let's create the HTML file, employee create.cs HTML file, view file. Okay, first let's uh, define the route for this page using page directive. Okay, slash employee slash create. This is my route. Okay, and next define the model. Okay, that is our model. Now here let's try to add a form where user can enter the employee details as well as employee addresses. Okay. So first let me define the container bootstrap container and a row and a column and I want to display the form with six column size form and i want to leave three columns on each side so that my form gets centered okay offset md three here let's try to add the form so form and form method should contain method like post form submit okay so now let me add a legend tag to display some form heading like Add a employee. Okay, now let's add some fields. Okay, so what fields we have? We will check our employee and employee addresses classes. So these uh, properties need to be configured as a fields in our form. Okay, so let's go to Bootstrap website. So here, go to forms. Here you can see the forms, okay. And in the overview, let me take this uh, one div with input element, okay. So add it here. First, let's configure the employee form. I don't want this additional div. Okay, let me remove it. And here is the field. In general, my most of the fields are text fields only. Okay. So here, employee, what are the fields we need required for employee data? First name, last name, job role. That means three text fields. Okay. Let's duplicate this do two more times. Okay. And change this to text. First name. And as I need it as the ID, sorry. 
similarly text class name and text job row okay these are just optional just we are mapping label on the text field now let's change the labels name last name and email address sorry job role okay and on submitting this form this form data must be read it uh, captured by our model so here we have to create a variable to read the form fields okay so let me create a variable of employee type okay public seven razor cut sample data entities and employee okay name it like new employee okay and to read the form data we cannot use simple normal c sharp property for rendering we can use a simple c sharp property okay but to read the form data this property must be decorated with the bind property okay this will add ability to this property to capture the form posted data okay so now i can bind this uh, variable into my form okay to capture the data so to capture the data we have to use a tag okay ast for okay as a tag helper to this tag helper we have to map individual properties in this property new employee property okay so here i can get new employee dot first name okay same way so these are uh, what i can say tag helpers okay so new employee dot last name ASP for okay new employee dot job role okay so I mapped my employee form fields okay so this ASP for on rendering what it will do means it will just render as a name attribute okay with this name will be printed okay so this ASP for tag is uh, mandatory. If you don't use, you have to manually add the name attribute and pass this as a string. Okay, here it is like dynamic mapping, right? This should be passed as a string because on rendering ASP for render as a name 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 attribute. From that name attribute only form can read the data. Okay, so this ASP for is uh, mandatory. So now I have added the employee data. Now I want to add uh, employee addresses also. So for this demo, I, I am expecting two addresses, something like home and office addresses. Okay, to render the form, what I can do, I can loop it. Okay, I can use for loop, normal for loop. Okay, and less than or equal to one. I just want two addresses. Okay, so I am using starting from 0 to 1 for loop okay now here i can add a new row new class row okay now here what i will do let me add a sub form heading okay and address okay and uh, what I will do here, I will uh, add the index index value. Okay. So what I will do instead of one, I start from zero. I want like address one and address two. So for that purpose, I am just adding plus one here. Okay. So it will render as address one and address two. Okay. Now here we have to bind the uh, form so employee addresses what are the 
columns are their their ad, address type, city, country. Again, three uh, input fields we required, right? So what I will do, I will copy these three fields, okay? And add it here, okay? And here, let me make these dynamic things, okay? So what I will do, single quotes and at the rate, okay? And here, txt address type, first thing, address type, okay? And here I want to add the dynamic value. Okay, so I can open braces and I can pass the I value. Okay, so it will render as a text address type one. Okay, so copy this and add it as ID here. Okay, similarly, I can do for here. Okay, I will rename the string, just copy it. Okay, and here other fields are like city and country, right? So txt city, okay, txt city, txt country. These are just optional, but it is good to give a ID and the values here. Okay, country. Now we have to bind the uh, ASP for. If you observe employee, it is a straight object because it is parentable, right? It is a straight object. But employee has a navigation property, employee addresses. So here our form also, we are using employee type, right? So it contains navigation property that contains collection of employee addresses. So while reading also, we have to use like collection of addresses only, ASP for, okay? So what you can do means, since it is a collection, right? Email address and its index. So pass the I dot address type. Okay. Like this, you have to do because it will when when it will generate uh, render what will render means name equal to new employee dot employee address braces inside of it is zero any index. Okay. Dot address type like that. It will render. Okay. So copy this, add it here. Okay, add it here also. Okay, so here it will be city. Here it will be country. Now finally, add the submit button. Okay, button type will be submit. I want to form submit, right? And classes ATN ATN primary okay add so on form post we have to write the post async method right because we want to save it to our database so let's go to our employee create model and let let's work on post async method so public async task i action Okay, on post async. Okay, and I mentioned that the new employee can read the form data because it is decorated with the bind property. So first, let me inject the my DB context into the constructor. Okay, so let me copy that injection code. Copy from the details employee details model. Okay and here add it here and change the constructor name and import our db context namespace okay now in the post async method what i can do it is very simple okay 
my old db context dot add dot sorry employee dot add and just pass the or form field which is new employee form field property since it will contain the navigation property of our employee addresses right so form also post the collection of employee addresses so once you save a new employee address along with the navigation property data it will first insert the employee record and take that primary key and again insert the collection data which is nothing but employee addresses data by passing the employee id as a foreign key here we have employee id right employee id which is a foreign key which is nothing but a id of our employee address so it will automatically do i will show the query how it generates as well okay and finally call save async changes okay after create successfully creating i want to redirect back to our index page so use a method like redirect and simply give the path like index okay so that's it we are done with our employee create model code now in the employee index page we have to add a button add button because we have to navigate back to our form right for that we have a navigation right we should have a navigation so let's add the navigation in the employee index page which is our like a home page for us okay go to html on top of this table let me add one more row and column column d4 offset md4 and let me add here anchor tag okay like create employee okay and if you want to display this as a button i can write the button class here okay and now here i need to configure the navigation href okay so to configure navigation href here i can use a at uh, tag helper razor page tag helper like asp sorry not action asp page okay and to this we have to specify the file name itself directly okay no need to specify the path by specifying the file name automatically href will generate it as a path path of this page so pass the file name no need to give the extension of the file name remove it save it that's it we can test it now okay here you can see our index page and you can observe the create employee button as i told if you inspect this create employee button see here href is automatically generated but in the code what we did we just used the tag helper asp page tag helper and just name of the page is passed but it is rendered as employee slash create how it is rendered means it will take the route from this page so what is the route in our uh, employee create.html route is slash employee dot create same route is added as a href here so let me click on it and navigate to add form okay here you can see our form is displaying okay and some styles are missing job role text field let's correct it just uh, change these uh, titles also Okay, here form control is missing job role so copy it okay and i also forgot to change the actual labels so this will be the address type okay and this will be the city and this will be the country now check our form again okay I'm getting nice form. Okay, now let's add the new employee. Okay, 
I will add myself as new employee. Okay. Home. I will add some city. Okay, India. And office. I will add like. India, this is my form, and I also mentioned right ASP per tag how it will render. Let's check here if you observe the name attribute name employee dot first name. So ASP for will render as this. This is the key name attribute is the key for form post in the razor pages. Okay, same way if you observe our addresses. This child object, right? If you see how we how name will be generated, see new employee addresses index of address type. Okay, index of city like this. It should be rendered. If it is not rendered like this, you form data you won't receive at the server end. Okay, so make sure you have rendered the names very good. Okay, now let's submit the form. And posting. So if it is successfully posted, it will redirect back to index page after creating the record. See, I can see new record is added. Top level employee table record is added. But whether now we have a doubt whether our employee address, which is a child, added or not. Okay. For that, I can click on the details. See, home address Bangalore and office address Lucknow. That means along with my employee new record, new employee addresses records also inserted. Okay, with very simple EF core query, just an add and save changes async method. Nothing we do explicitly for adding the child table records. Okay, and if you observe the a generated query, we have to scroll up because we have also get some Okay. See here. Some query. Implicit transaction and insert. Okay. Uh, this is employee insert. And next to that, you can observe one more insert with employee addresses. And it is automatically inputted our employee ID, which is the primary key of our employee. We are using as a foreign key key in our employee addresses. So that's represents whenever we insert a new record, first EF core will generate two insert queries, one for employee and one for employee addresses. Employee addresses child rate. So first it will insert the parent table, nothing but employee. And it will capture the ID of that employee. And again, it will use that ID as a foreign key ID in the employee address table. Okay, so that's about the how to implement the create operation when we have one to many relationship. Okay, next we are going to implement the update operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video delivered some useful content to you all. If you like my content, please do support me by subscribing to my channel as well as by liking the video. Soon we are going to meet with new video until then signing off.